Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So returning subscribers, I want to say a very big thank you. And if you're just joining me for the very first time, thank you so much. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell. So guess what, guys? We're about to have a ride of a lifetime. Michael has come out to say that he will never speak with Jackie B again. How did this all start? So you remember that there's an ongoing issue, there's an ongoing rift between Angel and Jackie B. And of course, it's a very mild, subtle one. It's a low-key one, but it looks like something that's going to explode very soon. So we see Michael in the kitchen talking to Tega about the issue that has transpired between himself, Angel, and Jackie B. And he's telling Tega that, you know what? The first time, the issue was the fact that Angel was massaging his head for two hours, right? And the second one right now was the fact that, you know, Angel cooked for him and brought him into the room and he found out that you know Jackie B's countenance changed and then he realized fucking oh maybe what Angel did or what he allowed Angel did was wrong but the truth is that he said that it wasn't Angel that was coming after him because he was the one that told Angel on both occasions of massaging the head and cooking for him to do it. And then she brought me my own as I was eating it uh, Jackie came outside sat down then she now asked Angel if I had paid her then when she asked her and I Entered the, I, re, I responded, I was like, I didn't have to pay anything, she gave it to me for free. I wasn't thinking anything of it, like, if anything, I was thinking, I'm a, <laughs> that was a good deal, like, <laughs> you understand? But I understand how she would feel some type of way. Mm. I get it from her perspective. He went ahead also to talk about the fact that, you know, Jackie B said that he pushed her twice. And how did this happen? He said that it was during the fight, the altercation that White Money and Perry had in the garden. And, you know, he was trying to tell them to step back from White Money because he felt that the more they were in White Money's face, the more they were going to allow him to get aggressive. So he was telling everybody to move back. And, of course, he also asked Jackie B to move back, touching her to move back, right? And he said that Jackie B took that as him pushing her. I didn't like that at all because he made White Money look as if he's the aggressor. And I noticed he was making him even more angry. Okay. So I was not telling people and just like moving them to the side, like, I'm more like, yo, give him space, like, chill, chill, chill. And she was one of them. <laughs> I did it to her. She took it super personal. Like, same thing again. But then the part, the part that I didn't like, Sha, was when she over exaggerated what I did. She was like, don't push me. We also see Jackie B confirming this here to Tega in the kitchen also. Tega seems to be like their counselor, but of course Tega is a listening ear who probably will not give you an advice, right? So she was telling Tega that, you know what, Michael pushed her twice and she doesn't really like it. But twice, do you understand? Like, pushed me. You know when, when White was upset, I sat down in front of him and I was trying to calm him down. He first came, he pushed me away from him. Pushed, just like tossed me, like, do you understand? For what? I ignored it. Then the second time when we were now in the garden, again trying to calm him down, I was literally there and then he now pushed me again that he move. I'm sorry, like, ah, why are you touching me? Which man? Which man did? Like, why did you push me? Like, this is not the first time you're pushing me. And then, then Michael went ahead to tell Tega that he tried talking to Jackie B, holding her hands, and Jackie B pulled her hands off and, of course, snubbed him. I said, I'll oh, chill now. Like, I didn't, I didn't push you. Like, relax. Because if you tell somebody I pushed you, what you imagine is as if, like, you get, you get, when that wasn't the case. Last last, it was like, yo, you understand? Nothing, nothing serious at all. And it was like, come on, he's trying to talk to Jackie B to resolve their issues, and then she removes her hands and she walks away from him, snobbing him. Like, pull her to the side because she, she was just like, pfft. then the attitude just became so clear. I was like, oh my, what's in her? Like, what's in the soul? Did you get? So I respectfully, like, like, grabbed her. Yeah. Like, yo, come, like, let's talk. Like, what's, I, I got her like, I was like, yo, what's going on? So I pulled her on, and I was, I'm like, snob me, like, pfft. And he told Tega straight up that, you know what, if the owners rests on him to meet Jackie B for them to have a conversation, that he will never do it and that they're never going to speak again if he has to be the one to start a conversation between himself and Jackie B. If you understand, it's like, like, leave me alone type energy, so I'm like, right, hey. Since, hell no. And I don't intend to either. I have nothing to say. I'm the one that tried to talk and I was snubbed. So it's not for me to now go back double back I mean, that's not me last last we'll never speak again if, it, if it's up to me to go back then we'll never speak again in life still on this michael issue angel has said that she's going to spice things up on saturday at the saturday night party and she's going to be starting up with michael mm -hmm. just no saturday i'm about to spice up you know the vibe where are you starting from michael mm -hmm. next 
I don't know my next plan. I'll start somewhere. This house not be boring since everybody's acting like an angel. Let me be the instigator. Moving on to my next gist, JMK has come out to say that she has a thing for Emmanuel. She was telling Angel this in the games room upstairs while they were having a conversation. <laughs> I'm on to this guy. See, there's just something about this sauce that makes you want to start shit. Bruh, you joke, joke. Voila. Serious one. <laughs> Emmanuel later confirms to Liko Rose that neither Jackie B told him that JMK really likes him, and of course, JMK says that he is boring. Oh. Uh, he ain't for himself. So now I just want to play tricks. Like, hey, what's up now? Fun, I'm with you, I'm with you. I don't know why that was. Are you for real? Who told you? Um, Jackie B. Of course, Amanda said he had been getting that vibe from JMK for a while right now and then Likoro said that she's really not cool with the idea of people thinking that she doesn't want any other girl to come close to her guy. Ah. Uh, do I come like that? Do I, I come with anybody like that? Is it? Yeah, I don't want to be like this. I tried to confirm it. Although I've been getting the whole... Fine. Yeah. Emmanuel went ahead to say that, you know, some people have said in the house that he is boring and all of that. And he said that he came into the house, you know, to play the game and, of course, to just see if he could catch Cruz. But, of course, when he met Liko Rose, the plans changed. He found out that he liked her. And then Liko Rose asked him that, does he really think that he is boring? I mean, what are they expecting for me to be all loose and flirty and... It could be, I mean, that was kind of the plan, but then things changed, so I'm not complaining, I'm actually okay, I'm good. So no matter what I think, no matter what I feel, unless you're not okay with it. Um... <laughs> I know you're not. I'm not okay with what? You, you know, know I'm not okay with what? I know I did not know what they think about. Now I have two questions for you. The very first is this. Do you think that Michael and Jackie B should sit down as adults and trash their issues out or they should just walk away and go their separate ways? My second question is this. Is Emmanuel really boring in the house? Please go to the comment section and let's continue our conversations there. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so guess what? You get notified whenever I post a video. Go on all social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram, on Twitter and of course on TikTok and follow me at the Femi Daniel. And until next time I come here with very it's bye for now.